In this video we'll take a look at shear connectors, both how to define them and locate them here within LoopBridge Steel Connect. I'll go ahead and open the shear connector definition window and in here you'll notice that we can define both a stud or a channel here and you can define again as many of these as you need. So I'm going to go ahead and create one and then for the properties it's simply a matter of defining the height, the diameter, and the material of the shear connector. And again you can do multiple of these. Once you're done you select OK and then we'll open shear connector locations to tell the software where they're located. Now in the location men window basically it mean, provides a means to locate previously defined shear connectors along the top flange of our main girders. Uh, two types can be located, the stud and the channel. Um, and the shear connectors basically are defining our regions of composite versus non-composite behavior along said member. And there can be any number of ranges along the member. Uh, when we detect a range there uh, that designates the area as being a composite range, uh, then it's considered fully composite. If shear studs are selected, um, it doesn't really matter what the spacing or, or uh, number of studs are. Uh, it's still considered composite. Now if you do use shear studs it will detect these uh, during the design code checks and if strength of fatigue load combinations are present in the loads window then it will perform appropriate uh, spec checks and reporting among other details on the required number of studs and, and longitudinal spacing um, of, the, of those studs. So when we go to define these, again, you'll want to tell what type you have. And then the columns will change depending on the type that we have here. So I'm going to just come in here and simply add uh, some shear studs along the first member. Now if you want to do this for the entire length of the member, the easiest way to go is probably what we call relative here. In relative, your begin location of 0 would be the very start of the beam, and end location of 1 would be the end of the beam. And then simply a matter of specifying the longitudinal spacing. In my case, maybe we'll do nine inches. Uh, pick the shear stud that was previously defined. How many studs per row? And then the transverse spacing of those studs. Now, if you want to break it up, uh, again, you could use relative here or uh, the absolute method is simply zero at the beginning of the girder and then however many feet uh, to whatever point you want to begin or end uh, each range. Once you're done with one of the girders, if the others are going to have uh, similar uh, shear connectors on them, there is a copy button up here that will allow you to copy that to all the members and go ahead and select OK. We do not add them to the physical model here but as I mentioned, they are uh, considered uh, during the analysis and design code checks. Thank you for watching this video on shear connectors uh, here in LeapBridge Steel Connect Edition.